Hi friends, in this video I am going to cover something called cosi scripting and uh, in this particular video we will be going to cover reflected accesses and in the next video we probably going to cover stored accesses. So if you see uh, accesses it is of uh, mainly it is of two types and it is called persistent and non persistent. So if we see we can categorize it in two categories persistent and non persistent persistent it is also known as stored accesses and uh, as the name suggests persistent or stored this means uh, the query the user input is uh, stored in the database and uh, that stored permanently and uh, that's the reason it is called stored or persistent accesses and uh, we'll be learning more about it in the next video but in this video we'll be covering something called reflected accesses and uh, actually non-persistent uh, accesses is of two types uh, basically uh, one is for, uh, reflected the other one is DOM based so if you see you can say non persistent uh, accesses is also of two types reflection reflected accesses and dom based accesses dom based accesses uh, it's a long time ago when this vulnerability was used to be found and the reason is uh, because uh, in the previous time uh, what we used to do is uh, we have a u we should uh, we used to have a url like this and then we have this keyword has followed by some data and uh, what ex exactly happens was uh, uh, there exists some source code in the page source of uh, this particular page and uh, the javascript used to dynamically generate the data and uh, present it here in the screen uh, and that javascript used to use these uh, data after this ha hashtag so basically uh, that was used to do so that uh, the load on the server can be the actually not load the transmission data can be reduced but uh, uh, it's uh, not a good option to use javascript for rendering the web pages dynamically and uh, cross site scripting is one of the reason um, that's a bad idea so now nobody actually uses uh, javascript for dynamically rendering web pages and uh, that's why this vulnerability is uh, somehow or to actually that's gone now and uh, dom based accesses is uh, not found for now so we mainly have two types of accesses uh, one is stored other is uh, reflected and what this reflected means is uh, whatever we give in to the server as an input uh, we get uh, back uh, the same string in the response that means uh, here is the simple uh, simple uh, utility provided by this uh, uh, dvw application we just need to enter a string and uh, we get it echoed back and that's what reflected uh, accesses says we entered this string sfafss and we get it back in the response so if we see we get the exact same string here in the response so that's why it's called reflected accesses now coming to exploit it how we can exploit it actually if you see here the server is not putting any kind of sanitization uh, actually that's a simple string but if we put in some special characters which are uh, actually used in html then we'll find that uh, so 
let's see the web page of it it's not working okay so if we see the source page uh, we pass in the input single quote followed by um, less than sign and greater than sign and we see the exact same string reflected and without any sanitization of these characters and if these characters are not sanitized we may add some javascript code here and uh, make it to run without uh, without any problem so if we simply put in some tag here like uh, script and enter script and enter we will see in the page source that this Resource is not opening. What's happening? I don't know what's the problem, but let me append it here to view the source code. Okay, so if we see the source code, we will find that this script tag is actually saved actually accord exactly same by the server that means uh, we can run any sort of uh, javascript code here without any problem and uh, javascript uh, for now it's uh, one of the most popular scripting language for web pages and uh, we may do a lot of harm if we are able to run javascript piece of code and uh, one of the example is uh, retrieving the cookie name of the retrieving the cookies of the users uh, which are active so we can simply um, type in a query like uh, we can simply insert in a script like uh, script alert and that's a basic uh, query for uh, doing uh, cross site scripting and uh, we are actually at low level so there is no any input sanitization and that's why we are easily able to get the cookie and here this is the cookie value of the user from which i am logged in so we we can use this uh, cookies to log into the server without requiring any password and uh, that means we can hijack anybody's account if we are able to get their cookies so cookies they are the important parts and uh, this vulnerability cross site scripting this is uh, also one of the ovas top 10 and uh, it's been highly rated and uh, i'll recommend you to learn more about it and uh, you're gonna have fun doing this because this is a low level there is no sanitization but uh, we'll be upping this level and uh, we'll find how interesting it is to exploit and play with but for now, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel at Myral Cause and don't forget to share and subscribe.